Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to update Windows 10 to the latest version. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first method I would recommend would be to open up the Start menu. And you want to just type in Update. Best method should come up with Settings or Check for Updates. You can access it either way, but we're going to go for Check for Updates here. Once you're on the screen, it should say Windows Update and Update Status. Just left click on the Check for Updates button right here, and it'll begin running and checking for any updates that could be installed on your computer. And there'll be a list here, and you just would go through the process of installing such updates. Now, if this method was not showing you updates that you believe you had, or you needed to install, another way to do it would be to go on the Internet. It doesn't really matter which web browser, but we're going to navigate over using Google Chrome here just to google.com and I'm going to type in the media creation tool anyone hit enter so for Windows 10 it should say download Windows 10 disk image right above a Microsoft domain here just to left click on that link take us to a Microsoft website here and if you wanted to follow along with any major updates, you can click this download tool now, which will go through the process of updating your current computer. Keep in mind, it's a pretty big update here. It's basically the entire Windows 10 installation, so it could take a while to download, but it should definitely get you to the latest build. Now, if you were going to have the monthly or quarterly updates, there might be a creator's update in the spring or fall that's ready to be updated up here. Just with left click on the Update Now button, so it's definitely a little bit of a difference, but you can really achieve the same result either way. It really depends on your personal preference, and I would definitely suggest update now. It would probably be a little bit quicker. But in terms of the most up-to-date product, you probably want to download the tool. So it really depends where you're going for it, but I just wanted to go through a couple of different things that could possibly benefit you guys for this tutorial. And I do hope this video was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.